All right, Chris at TD Motion. I have a six-speed T56 transmission on the bench today, and let's just talk about it. So this transmission started with the Dodge Vipers, and then it's worked its way into the Fords and the GMs. It has uh, multiple boat locations, so it does fit in a variable amount of vehicles. And if we kind of work our way from the front and go to the back, talk about a few things. It takes a, a 26 spline input shaft, a hardened input shaft. Uh, we go in the, towards the top here, we have the, the shifter locations. This takes multiple shift locations depending on your transmission tunnel. And then we have the, the 31 spline output shaft. We have the yoke in here right now. We have the locations for the mechanical and electric speedo cable and a speed sensor on the side of the transmission. Uh, we have the fill and then the drain plugs right on the side of the trans too. This transmission uh, handles up to 700 plus horsepower, 8,000 plus RPMs. So handles a lot of, a lot of torque uh, for a lot of modern day the, uh, engines that they're working with. Uh, what else I can tell you about this? So comparing this to the TKO 600, the TKO 600 handles 600 pounds of torque, about 6,000 RPMs. So this is definitely a step up, but. In some applications, you're better off with a 600, especially for the Cobras with the short drive shafts. We go towards the front of the transmission here. We have the bell housing. This is the quick time steel bell housing. It's a great bell housing. For one, it's all steel, so it's going to protect you, the scatter shield. Uh, two, it has very close machine tolerances. So you're going to have the bell housing and the clutch indexed a lot more consistently. And then as far as the clutch goes, this transmission will accept either a mechanical clutch or a hydraulic clutch. So that about sums it up. This transmission package is available through tdmotion.com.